I would say my most important anti-aging compound, because I just told you everything is metabolic in nature as far as disease state and biological versus chronological aging is going to be uh, metformin, berberine, dihydroberberine. Uh, I, full disclosure, I have like patents and work that I've done on dihydroberberine, but metformin is a drug that's been used for, um, I think since the 1920s. It's a glucose disposal agent. Um, is one of the most studied compounds out there, but it works on this AMPK, AMP kinase pathway. Potently anti-aging. One of the ways that we age is uh, advanced glycation end products, ages literally is the acronym. Um, berberine is essentially the herbal equivalent of metformin. And berberine has actually been shown to be uh, more potent than metformin. And metformin, by the way, already has a study right now with over 10,000 people just looking at anti-aging, not diabetes, anti-aging, even in healthy people. And what we see with dihydroberberine is it solves some of the problems of metformin and berberine that it's about five times more bioavailable. Um, sometimes there's bioavailable uh, bioavailability issues with berberine. Certain people don't metabolize it well. Some people have GI distress on metformin or berberine. So dihydroberberine solves that. It's about um, twice as active in the plasma, meaning it lasts longer and you have to take it less frequently. Um, and it's just, it's, it's solving a, a number of these fronts where we're, we're aging. It seems to improve uh, CRP, hemoglobin A1C, oxidized LDL, uh, you know, age with DNA methylation. So like almost all the, the factors that we know of. And some people have thought metformin berberine uh, may have a negative impact on the mitochondria. But what we see when we see correct dosing um, across all of these people, all of these studies that we've seen is all this anti-aging. And we think that it's actually at these doses, mitochondrial hormesis, like where it's challenging the mitochondria, yes, but it's actually like taking them to the gym and making them stronger. Now, if you were to go way above the dosing recommended, maybe it would actually have a counterproductive effect. But at the doses we've seen that we're studying that are recommended in any of those compounds, it is an anti-aging effect and seems to improve mitochondrial health. And would dihydroberberine work in um, in a stack with other blood sugar or uh, glucose disposal agents? Like, for instance, there's a, a product out there called uh, Blood Sugar Breakthrough from Bio Optimizers. Um, I interviewed the owner Wade. I'm sure you you know Wade, and um, you know we were talking about that product. And in that product, you have dihydroberberine, you have chromium, you have bitter melon. Uh, cinnamon, um, I think alpha lipoic acid. So they have a, a, a couple things going there. Um, yeah, those are all, those are essentially all different. Like I was saying, complementary. like each of those are kind of working on different pathways. So yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. And the AMPK pathway is, is really fascinating because, you know, I have been looking at the space and, you know, people talk about these different anti-aging supplements and I'd be like, man, those, those really sound like blood sugar control agents, but the way you just stated it actually makes a lot of sense because what you're doing is you're, you're eliminating, you're, you're boosting metabolism, you're eliminating advanced glycation end products. And of course that's going to maintain the integrity of cellular health, boost the mitochondria, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, exactly.